What's up everybody? Ravenel Ford, Carbine Made Easy. Just stay tuned because this next video is for you. What's up everybody? Welcome to Ravenel Ford Videos, hosted on Charleston Car Videos today. I'm Chad, your host. Let me tell you, you're in for a fun one today with my commentary. We're going to be taking a look at the 2017 Ford F-350 Lariat, so stay tuned. Now what I'll do is, it's not going to be a 20 minute walk around video like some of your other ones out there on YouTube. My video is going to be about price, some of the options and specs, I'll give you my thoughts about this vehicle, and reasons why Ravenel Ford is really just overall a lot better Ford dealership to buy from than some of your other Fords around town. You're going to want to hear why. So let's go ahead and get this ball rolling, folks. I'm in, a, I'm in an exciting mood today, and uh, I've been doing this all day. So let's get the ball rolling. Headlights are looking good. They're big, are they not? Are those not massive size headlights and a massive logo for a massive truck? That's why they put Super Duty right up there on the uh, hood. The fogs look good. Let's crank it up. It's got to have remote start, and yes, indeed, it does. Lock, hit twice. That's how easy it was to crank that diesel motor just now and cool it off on the inside or warm it up in the winter time. I was filming a uh, different type of brand vehicle yesterday and I felt like a total idiot trying to do the remote start. It said two times, but it wouldn't crank after two times. Finally figured it out, but anyways, you can browse around on my channel and find that video. So anyways, a good looking car, good looking truck, nice color. Let's look at the wheels, Michelin tires, 275. 65 series tires with a massive size 20 inch wheel big shocks it's a, again it's an f350 lariat sits high big mirrors extend out for that fifth wheel now that sticker right there is very important and i'm going to tell you why right now okay but before i do let me not forget 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel Oh yeah. Now here's the retail price on this truck right here, okay? $68,055. That's the discount, $38,52. We sell them $98 over. Invoice, $64,203. There's a rebate of $1,000. That puts you at $63,203. There's $750 you can save if you finance with Ford. So that's a massive discount from there to there. That's good. There's not any other dealer in the low country here that's going to do that. Not Jones Ford, not Berkeley, not Palmetto. They don't do it, and they don't do it. We do. Look at this. No dealer add-ons such as rust proofing, paint sealing, undercoating, closing, dock fees. Such items are used to mislead customers, giving more markup to the selling dealer. Beware. I mean, they got beware on there in all caps with three exclamation points. Have you ever been to a car store and seen that little sticker on the side with all the accessories and add-ons that the dealer put on and it added up to be $3,000, maybe six grand, who knows? Did you know that sometimes those dealers do it on every car on the lot? Yeah. Have you ever been to a restaurant before and they brought out the wrong food? What do you do? Really, what do you do? You hand the food back to the waiter and waitress and you say, you got my order wrong. Can you please bring the correct food out? And if you've been waiting a while, you're really irritated at that point. So you go into the car store, you sit down with the sales guy, and you're like, I didn't want mud flaps. I didn't want protectant sealant on my paint. I didn't want all that stuff. Well, sir, it's on there already. Can you take it off? Well, yeah, we could take some of them off. I'll be back in two hours after dropping it off in service. Now your whole day has got spent at the dealership. Your whole day. You came in at 11, you left at 8 o'clock that night. Then they want you to give them a good review, right? How you feel about giving them a review after being there all day and then they put stuff on the vehicle you didn't even want? That's right. So, yeah, this is an in-depth video, folks, but I'm drilling it today on this pricing stuff. So, I know some of y'all watching just want to see the specs. Not here. I'll show them to you, but hey, I'm talking about price. Anyways, I'll get back to that in a minute. Two cameras. One guy commented on a video last week, said, no, 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 you got it wrong. There's two cameras there. Well, good for you, dude. Now I know. There's two cameras here. One's looking down, so you're backing up with your trailer. Booyah. Got a tow package. The other camera's giving a wide-angle view, so you don't run over some kid's skateboard. Nice. 
backup sensors as well. So thank you to you for commenting and letting me know that. Yeah, I don't read the whole manual before I do them. But anyways, yep, you got the hookups back there for the fifth wheel. You got a back window opens and closes, throw that puppy dog a bone. You even got some LED lights in here. And if that wasn't enough, on a truck earlier I filmed, it had a camera up there shooting down in here. I don't see a camera up there on this F-350, but it could have one. FX4 off-road, wow freaking we. So anyways, back to that addendum. Just stop, we don't do it here at Ravenel Ford. If you don't want all the extras and you don't want to spend all that money on the truck and you want to save something, make it easy on yourself, okay? Come on down here to Ravenel Ford and buy the truck. Bypass all those other dealers. I mean, we're only 15 minutes away from the city of the mall in Charleston before they bulldoze the city of the mall one day. Power windows, power door locks, all these mirrors. You got power everything, power seats, real leather interior, power seat, lumbar. Oh yeah, did I just say that? Look at that leather. I mean, that's real leather, folks. That's not BMW's leatherette they're doing on those three series, okay? You're getting real leather on every freaking Ford that has leather interior. We don't add cheap leatherette. Leather on the steering wheel, they even wrap the stitching up onto the dash. It's absolutely gorgeous. Massive screens, LED lights in the roof. I'm in hog freaking heaven. This is beautiful. Micro, it's not Microsoft Sync anymore. It's Sync now. Someone commented about that too. Oh, they don't have Microsoft anymore. Well, thanks for telling me, bud. Now I know. So I do appreciate y'all's comments. Back seats look good, especially when they're folded up. You can fit a bunch of stuff in here. Rear air, these big rubber mats. You got your power outlets, 110 volt, 100 and or four, four, freaking 400 watt max back here. Holy mackerel. That'll charge my Canon camera real quick. So anyways, you got the remote start. You want to shut it off, just do that. There's the horn. Come on down and see us at Ravenel Ford, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Come on down and see us. We have trucks for days. I'm Chad signing out. It's time to get home and get these videos edited and up online for y'all to watch. Thanks for clicking on with us. If you're on RavenelFord.com, if you're not, click over to RavenelFord.com and come buy you a beautiful truck. We'll see you soon. Visit us online at RavenelFord.com. Carbine really is made easy at Ravenel Ford. And don't forget, this video is brought to you by Charleston Car Videos. Real video, real cars, real people.